Hello, hello, it's Tash and Ro. Welcome to or welcome back to It's Saturday, your personal self-care pod where you can escape the work week and unwind with your two besties, no matter what day of the week it is, but for us, it's Saturday. <laughs> Right. Oh it's been a gosh. while because we had a guest episode last week. I know. So it's been some time. I don't even remember what we talked about the last episode, just us. Like if Same. you could, if you had to tell me one thing. Like, I don't remember. No idea. It's all over. <laughs> it's been all over. It's been a lot. Oh my blur. gosh. It's Monday. We're recording on a Monday today, which yes, is like rare for us. Because I know. we usually record towards the end of the week. I know. Why are we recording on a Monday? Oh. What's going on with well, you? I'm big update. A big update. I'm going to a conference tomorrow. So I'm going to be gone from tomorrow to Friday and I'm doing a really big talk, a presentation, probably the biggest one of my career. That's crazy. Yeah, so I'm excited, nervous, but you've been practicing. Good. I've been practicing. Yeah. I think I know it. I know I know it. It's more just, you know, when you get up there, like yeah. the first five seconds are the worst. Okay. Like for just introducing yourself. Mm-hmm. You're like, what is my name? And then once you get over that little the beginning slide I think I'm good to go I just need yeah. to get into the rhythm you know your it. stuff so it's yeah. just like getting over the nerves exactly how long is your presentation so it's it's frustrating because I have so much to talk about I only get 10 minutes 10 minutes 10 minutes and five minutes of questions sometimes they let you go over a bit but okay. like I have so I've timed myself and I'm a little bit over 10 minutes so hopefully they're not oh, just like fine I think they're not gonna be like sorry cut off you know yeah but, no I don't think um, do that. Yeah, it's the questions I'm a little bit nervous too because the 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 crowd that I'm speaking to is like all doctors and okay. like physicians, surgeons and do people and normally like, ask a lot of questions at these things? So it just depends. Like so I have a plenary, so it's what you do is you're talking to everyone at the conference and mm-hmm. then they have smaller rooms that you go into afterwards where they have like specific sessions. So the plenary is one that everyone's at. So like you probably are I'm probably gonna get some questions because the entire conference is there. Yeah. You know, whereas if you go into those smaller rooms sometimes you don't get any questions because it's just a smaller crowd. Yeah. But I this is like, like everyone at, everyone that's at the conference so do you kind of think of what questions people yeah. might ask you yeah so i have okay. some like bullet points that i like printed off some just like some quick facts and just some numbers because sometimes yeah. you can get away with oh well i don't know that but i know this and then you okay, kind of switch it redirect it yeah smart yeah and if you don't know something you just say i don't know like, okay just like, uh, i can get back question. to you or like my email's on the screen and i will send you an email you know, you're not gonna it. send that <laughs> dude i'm so like <laughs> impressed by you because i'm one of those people it's funny because like obviously like i have a classroom i have students and i'm not nervous to talk obviously in front of students but when it comes to like that kind of presentation like colleagues or even back in university i was the person where i would register for classes look at the syllabus and if there was an oral presentation i would drop the class i used to be like that too like, i honestly used to be i hated oral speaking oh my or like presentations but the more you do it the more of comfortable course. you are yeah like yeah. all of my undergrad i never did a presentation and then i went to teacher's college and it was like all oh. presentations and there was no choice so i was like fuck like <laughs> i had to get over my fear real fast but i'm still like if i'm if i'm even at a presentation and i'm the one asking you a question when i raise my hand my heart like beats so fast especially if you're thinking of the question before and you're like is this a stupid question and you're like eh. and yes. then it gets you and you're like uh, and then uh, you like uh, forget how to speak and you have a stroke and you're just like Bleh. yeah yeah <laughs> like, no oh i know i know exactly the feeling i know that feeling what, like i still have that feeling are you- and it's hard because coming from covid yeah. i've given a lot of presentations but it's on zoom you don't so see anyone yeah. so it's just like talking to yourself and, and you can have notes on your screen that exactly. way right whereas this different. is so different i'm always just like staring at you and you're like ah, don't look at me so i'm yeah. gonna try to like find a spot and just look at the wall yeah and not look at like one person because they'll just get tripped up are you allowed I'm... to have like a drink before <laughs> my well my presentation is at like 11 a.m so <laughs> <laughs> maybe a Be caesar like, hi can i get a shot please <laughs> it's like it reminds me of when we were so nervous to record our first episode we like yeah. did like shots and like had a drink we're like okay and now it's just like it's just normal no now, it's so. or when we did the photo shoot we're like what oh are we God. doing like how do we even pose and then yeah. she's like take a shot girls and we're like <laughs> okay we're good it's fine a little liquid courage no i'm excited for you yeah. i know you're gonna crush it yay i can't wait oh amazing. my gosh okay i do remember what we talked about last week okay. because we went viral on tiktok from our last pod 
People love garbage. People are Pe- passionate about garbage. Passionate about trash, y'all. <laughs> we talked about that bag tag and we made a clip of it and we posted it on TikTok. How many views are we at? It's growing still. It's like at 200,000 pretty much. 200,000 views, like thousands and thousands of likes. People are popping off in the comments. We got garbage men popping off. People from all over Ontario. And guys, we learned. I feel kind of like dumb now because this is like already been going on in like pretty much everywhere except for Ottawa. Every city in Ontario pretty much has already implemented a bag tag policy. I think Ottawa is the last <laughs> one. And we haven't even, granted, haven't even it's, passed. No. The, we were a little, the, the facts weren't all there no. when I spoke about this, but they haven't even passed this. This it's, was just in discussion. Yeah. It's potentially happening like next, next year, year, right? Whereas like everywhere, like Barry, GTA, Hamilton, Waterloo, like all over, they're like, we only get one bag. It's like, we're a family of six and we have one bag and even that's hard to fill. I'm like, oh, okay, well. Yeah. So it was crazy. very polarizing. <laughs> some people were like, oh my God, I can't do this. Like I produce six bags of car- garbage a week. And then some people were like, I produce half a bag of garbage every four, <laughs> four weeks. And you're like, what? I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> How does that work? Yeah, that was pretty interesting. We even had someone respond to our video with a really stitch, informative yeah. yeah stitch really informative and they were saying how basically our landfills are just like filling yeah. up there's nowhere to put our trash and in order to like build another infrastructure to like support our trash like that would take so long so we like basically just need to limit our trash and also because nobody wants to live beside a landfill like no. she made a really good point like Ew. nobody wants to live there so it, they're unhabitable places right Do you ever like sometimes i'll be walking stark when it's like garbage day and i'm like behind the garbage truck and it smells so fucking bad smells even just being near so the bad. truck i couldn't imagine living near a landfill no also, like, shout out to our garbage men and women. I've never seen a garbage woman. But shout out to the people that are in waste management because I couldn't do that job. No. So, like, <laughs> thank you yeah. for picking up our trash. I will say, though, since this whole, like, even discussion about the bag tag policy, I've been so more conscious about, like, yes. I'm about to throw something out in the trash. Yep. And I'm like, can I recycle this? It, like, I totally what, can this agree. Go in the compost. Like, yep, it's the just last all... two weeks, I've been way more thoughtful with that as well. So, yeah. We can change this, guys. Yeah, yeah. No. I think we can do it. I think. Oh we can yeah, do it. I think we can too. In yeah. the moment, I was like, oh, "Wait, what?" And I'm like, "Okay, wait, yeah." Me and Matt and Stark, we can definitely People limit with our babies. Waste. Though I don't know about that. <gasps> like all the diapers. I know. Like you have to get those reusable diapers or whatever cloth diapers. Well, we can talk about that and make a <laughs> another viral TikTok because I will not be doing that. No, no, I'm not about it. I'm not about it. Oh, oh my god. Gosh. Okay, speaking speaking of like social media and stuff, so. Most people know that my husband is a woodworker and he loves yes. to do it, but he's always just done it for me, our family, friends, like never really have has expanded. And I've always kind of pushed him like, you should make a social media yeah. account. He's not even on Instagram. He did not have an Instagram. <laughs> he had it when he was in university. He closed it since like 2016. Yeah. He has not had any social media, even like Facebook. He doesn't have it on his phone. Wow. So it was always really hard for me to be like, push, like get an yeah. Instagram. He's make like, a I business. hate this. Yeah. yeah. And then um, our friend Haley, who was on the last episode, she had posted the table that he, he had made her, the console table, table, on her Instagram. And she was getting flooded with messages being like, who is this furnished by Farzi? Yeah. You tagged him, but he has no pictures because yeah. we had created this profile. And then that kind of like pushed him to start posting because I had the Instagram on my phone. He didn't even have it. Like I just <laughs> had it on my phone. And he's like, oh my God. And anyway, so I had to teach him how to reteach him how to use Instagram. Oh my gosh. Instagram 101. He didn't have, there was no stories when he had Instagram. Yeah. So it's so different. eh? It's so different. Yeah. Like everything's different about it. So. Anyway, so now he has furnished by Farzi. He's made like three or four posts. And yes, I'm so excited for him. Like he's actually is so talented and I'm have no doubt like he's going to blow up. Like yeah, he's so. going to have to, he's going to have like a massive list of clients. <laughs> it's going to be insane. Yeah. So yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see where that goes, but yeah, he's been in the workshop like all weekend. Yeah. Crazy, have but. you been posting the, the stories that he's been doing lately? Though, yeah. So there, I posted that. I but feel like all these are the, Romina's stories. So that one They're was really me, good. but all his pictures, like the captions were all him. Cause he's like, really the Let's captions. Go. He's like, I just want to talk. Like, I don't want to make it too I don't know. Like he like, was just talking as if he was chatting. Just with casual. Someone. Very yeah. casual. Mm, I was like, like trying to help him. And he's like, no, no, I'm not going in that direction. Yeah. Like I need to like be very, this is the table. This is like 
Fun yeah. fact about the table. I was going like to say, I love his fun facts yeah, by yeah. Farsi. <laughs> like, that's so him. Yeah, so like, how it him. changes by, oh, like, yeah, the color changes him. over time. Like, I didn't know that. That's Meanwhile, so cool. I'm coming up with these witty captions like, cherry. Oh, you could put a cherry emoji. He's like, no. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, absolutely not say that for the pod. Well, I'm going in that direction. I'm like, okay, no. this is your account. You do what you want to yeah. do. Yeah. So, guys, give him a follow. Yeah. We'll post him. Yeah. So support your friends yeah, it's not hard friends. and we have the best friends because honestly all of our friends are so supportive like when they found out he had an account they're all sharing it and i'm like i love our friend group because we all just like support yeah. each other so much for sure when we have something like we're just like it's such a simple thing to do yeah. to like a post or repost something or follow someone like yeah. it's so like easy but it the, the gesture is so huge to the person that you're doing that yeah. for yeah so yeah. yeah unreal oh. so it was a long weekend but my long weekend was like super chill the same like a hundred percent and i really needed that like i actually had like four plans in a row like ended up flopping like but it was like for like oh, total so like nice. legit reasons but it was just like kind of like funny at that point and i was like okay wait is my whole weekend gonna like be one big flop and it was fine and like matt and i ended up like having a rainy day in just like playing video games hanging out and i'm actually like recovering from my stupid knee injury yeah so tell us about that what happened dude i don't even know what happened i I've always had issues with my left knee. I like got like really tight like back in the day when I was like started spinning a lot, okay. I found. And then whenever my quads get really tight, it makes my knee really tight. So what I'm thinking happened is just from like doing Legree, I was doing it a lot and it was these different like micro movements. My body was tight in different ways that I'm not used to. Yep. So it started affecting my knee and it was like kind of hurting a little bit. But then it got to the point like at the start of this week, I get hurt to walk and I couldn't go downstairs properly. I had oh, to go like no. one stair at a time because when my knee was bending to go down the stairs, yep. it was really painful. So I haven't been able to do like any lower body the last like week and a half. I just did my first workout in like over a week on Saturday, which is like so sad because like I love to move my body obviously it's like I feel like a stress relief so the last week was like kind of like sad but today yesterday was the first day I went down the stairs I was gardening outside and I walked up the stairs in our uh, on our deck and my knee didn't hurt okay, I was good. like whoa I was like wait when did that happen I went from it hurting yesterday and today like it feels fine so I'm still like being like cautious about yeah, it yeah being super cautious I'm still taking easy up and down stairs I'm still heavy stretches I got from my physiotherapist that I've been doing like twice a day instead of once a day because okay. like I'm s injuries suck like especially your knee because that's oh one gosh. that if you actually hurt it really badly it takes so long sometimes you don't recover from it I know so you have to be very careful like the last time I hurt my knee this bad was in 2019 and it took me like three weeks for it to go back to normal oh gosh, so I was just yeah. like not doing that again and that was the last time I was like when I started to get a little bit better I pushed it and now I'm like no I'm not pushing it no. till it's literally 100% better I have another physio appointment this week but yeah that's been my last oh week my and gosh, a half okay. super that was good some good life updates it's yeah. been a while we had so much to catch up on okay Dude. let's just talk about <laughs> yeah another just, big life update. another <laughs> big life update that had nothing to do with our life but it's like everyone's lives at this point Holy is fuck. VPR finale holy Dude. shit I it was so funny so literally after we recorded our episode with Haley last week it was on a Wednesday and normally we don't watch VPR till Thursday because it doesn't usually come out I got home randomly checked it was out so we both ended up watching it like together but like at our own houses at like 10 30 p.m on a Wednesday I couldn't sleep after <laughs> couldn't my wait. heart was racing so hard after I watched that episode that I was like I screwed myself because now I can't go to sleep because I'm just like thinking about all the stuff that I just witnessed that it was, was insane. insane it was probably the best like hour and a half of reality tv i've ever witnessed i okay did you notice how the confessionals of this episode of rachel talking about tom and how like mm -hmm. they've been hooking up are also the same confessionals when she was talking about her birthday and how these are the most important people in her life and blah 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 she's wearing the same outfit she's wearing that blue dress and she's like all giddy talking about tom and then literally the same outfit she's like talking about how these, these are, are her so, people these are her best Support friends she's her that girl is not okay i just i get it it's a tv show i wonder if the producers were like sorry you're gonna have to like go through th like this is your day to go through like x y and z yeah but, but still maybe change your top or something i don't know like yeah that would like that's crazy to me made her look even more horrific i just i couldn't get over the fact that tom was so 
defensive with Ariana, yeah. like almost to a point where he's like angry at her. Yeah. And then every other person he saw, he was like breaking down emotionally and was like, oh I'm my so God. sorry. But he wasn't like that with her, which yeah. just pissed me off. And it was like the way he like was defending saying, their friendship too. Yeah, like, like what oh, the we fuck? became good friends. And it's like, I don't give a shit that you guys became good friends. Um, Dude. And the fact that he was like talking to Schwartz and he was like, well, she she could have followed me and seen if I was coming to your house. Yeah. Like, bro, that's not her responsibility to follow you. He's so dumb. And how cringe was it when one, he called her, he called Rachel Ariana. And then five minutes later, she thinks that he said, I love you. And he said, they love you. And she's like, I love you too. Is that the first time they said I love you? I, Andy oh, Cohen needs to ask that question. I think I can't wait for the reunion. I'm a little annoyed because of this. It's the reunion comes out this week and I'm going to be at this conference. <gasps> I know. And I just, I feel like I'm not going to be able to watch it because it's, there's just going to be so much going on. I'm not going to have time to like go in my room. Stay away from hour. social media. You're going to, it's going to all the spoilers. I know all the spoilers. So I'm going to watch it as soon as I get back. But yeah. I can't wait for him to just deep dive on those questions. Yeah. That, you know what? That's not going to be until the last episode anyway. Like, I bet you anything, the last this episode said, will be when Raquel is it Rachel a two comes out. Part it's going to be three. three. Oh it's always, I'm pretty sure it's always three. Okay. Jesus. Yeah. And when he was crying to Lisa and having his little panic attack, I'm like, shut the fuck up. Like, I can't. That was so fake. That was so fake. And the white nail polish just is pissing me off now. I just Mm-mm. can't stop looking. I'm like, wash your nails. Yeah. Yeah, I just no, don't I like hope him. it was worth it. Like she literally will never be able to show her face in LA. She's Ever. dipping out now. She's <laughs> dipping out of LA as she should. Yeah. Dude, I also saw this other rumor though that apparently <gasps> Raquel she is pregnant. pregnant. Rachel at- is pregnant and that's why she's in hiding. Hiding at her grandma's house. I'm like, please no. Okay, we actually made a good point of chatting with her, but then she said, Do you think that this might be true in in, in a way of like R- R- Rachel like trapping Tom to stay with her? Oh my god! I don't know I don't if she's know. that smart. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but then some people were debunking it because she was vaping at the reunion. Oh, okay. So people were like, "Do you guys really think she?" But also, yeah, I don't know. She's dumb. So who knows? Maybe she just found out like after Later. that. I don't know. And then she's sending him like letters from wherever the fuck she is. But apparently uh, he was out seen like making out with <gasps> yes, some blonde girl. Some blonde I didn't see girl. any pictures or anything though. No, me so I don't know if that was fabricated or not. Not surprised. Like he didn't love you. Like yeah. you were really just this groupie that was obsessed with him. Stroking his ego. Because <laughs> Ariana didn't do that. <laughs> exactly. She didn't have time for your shit. No. Like, oh my God. Oh my God. So I much. just can't wait for that. Um, they put out a little teaser of the reunion. I don't want to keep watching too many teasers because I find, like, even this episode, yes. the finale, I had seen so many yeah. teasers that I'm like, I felt like oh, I saw the whole thing. I, I felt like I saw the I whole totally episode. I totally agree. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to try like, to avoid I'm really going to try to not watch any teasers because I just want to see it. Yeah. In live time. Man. So fun. Such a so good. crazy show. If you so haven't good. watched this show yet, guys, you're so lucky. Go watch it. Enjoy it for the first time. There's nothing like it. There's nothing like it. No. Yeah. Um, <laughs> speaking of like reality TV, the new season of Selling Sunset yes. just came out. I binged it this weekend. Did you watch all of it? Yeah. I just Kay. finished it today. I have like three or four episodes left. I d- I'm loving this I, season. I think this is one of the better seasons. Yes. Because I'm not going to lie. Like last season was kind of boring. Yeah. It was all w- about Christine and it was like kind of, it was just like the same thing for the last three seasons I felt. And... Yeah, it was just, it was really boring last season. This season got juicy really fast. And I feel like there's friendships that are kind of dying out. Like, Chrishell and Mary aren't really close yep. anymore. There's new people. Brie is really interesting. Then you yep. got Chelsea, who's like, extra, she's kind of like the Christine. She's just kind yeah. of crazy. Like, Okay, speaking of Chelsea, I saw a TikTok today. She came up on my feed and she was saying, like, answering questions about how like, do we have, um, like, outfits given to us or do we have, like, a glam squad and, like, this and that. So, apparently, they're all dressing themselves unless if they have a stylist, but no one is, like, sending them clothes, no. according to her. And unless you are buying, like, paying a glam squad yourself, like, production doesn't supply, like, any of that. So And these guys always look like they're going to the Met like every they're, morning. I'm I like, feel like this is, like, the season with the most ridiculous outfits like one of the outfits she couldn't even sit down in i don't know if i you know saw that one. yes it was like this, yes like, that weird little thing. tiny and she's like i didn't think this through i can't sit down yeah yeah no these the outfits, outfits are nuts mm-mm. like next level outfits and i i just wonder how much they're making from this show to then go like these outfits each outfit's probably like five six thousand dollars yeah and they're wearing it once or I- 
once yeah especially like amanza i like think she's really cool everything she's wearing is insane but i'm like where are you putting this in your closet like i don't understand it takes up so much so much space she has like oh she had like pink hair one of the episodes she had blonde hair like she goes crazy with the wigs too I wonder um, if they like are renting pieces maybe or like borrowing yeah. or maybe brands are like asking them like, oh, will you wear this piece and then like we'll give you like X amount of money to shop at our store or something yeah. like that. Yeah. I don't Chelsea's know. Chelsea's so rich. You can just tell from like what she wears. She's like next level rich. Um, When they were like eating that like weird like tuna like cigar fucking yeah, thing that at that restaurant nuts. i'm like what are you even eating or right like now? she was wearing this outfit and it was like one suit with the boots and they were like how do you wash this like how do you put this in the wash and she's like i don't i'm just gonna wear it this one time and then throw it out i'm like oh my god yeah they're they don't even hide it they're like yeah full on yeah. they're freaking rich i'm not a fan of nicole no don't like her I feel like I wonder if like production is making her stir up this drama or if if that's just her bringing up this three year old like drama bullshit. I'm like, did you see Chriselle's post? So Chriselle posted. Oh, oh my God, this is tea. So Chriselle, I'm going to actually pull it up, post it because obviously her and Chriselle have not been getting along. She's been yeah, saying no. all this stuff. And apparently when production um, team actually reached out to Nicole to be like, hey, will you come on the upcoming season? She DM'd Chriselle like this long thing to say, hey, lady, I just want to meet for lunch so you can give me some advice about the like they asked me to be on Selling Sunset. So I'm going to be on the upcoming season. Can we grab lunch? And they literally met up and had lunch. And we're like friends. And we're friends. And so she's like, I'm confused. Like, (gasps) what's going on? This is on her feed? This is on her feed. Feed. oh my god I take screenshots of that i'm gonna she might delete to that that's crazy yeah so yeah this is fake like this girl is i don't know if production told her hey you're gonna yeah. you need you need to have some drama or maybe she herself she knows like if i'm not dramatic like i'm not gonna be interesting i'm not gonna like where's davina davina's not on the fucking show anymore because she's like boring her. as fuck she's so boring she's so annoying yeah yeah so yeah that's crazy and she's also the og girlfriend of jason i know so all three of his girlfriends work at the office and now mary lou is little 25 year old friend so wild so crazy yeah i love this season i'm here for it i still have a couple more episodes left um yeah watch it guys it's it's good it's good and the cra- the the houses are just always nice to see oh my gosh so like, crazy i feel so poor watching that show it's insane. one of the primary bedrooms was the size of our house yep, pretty much yeah. we don't have a I small house so i'm like this yeah. is insane like it's oh like my this God. like this <laughs> square footage the square footage of one of the master bedrooms was the yeah. size of our entire first floor of our house and yeah. I was like, this is, that's ridiculous. Dude, that's the cool. view from the house that used to be Harry Styles from the primary, just like yes. overlooking like the hills, like having a balcony just opening up to that view. Oh my God. It's also though, some of these houses, I'm sorry, this will lead us into, I'm sorry, but I'm sorry, but like some of these houses are too big and like I would be terrified to live in these houses. It's like, uh, this is a 15 bedroom, 45 <laughs> bathroom house. Like you, I would always need to have friends over. Like I'd be like, come, come live with me. You live over there and I'll live over here. And if you're like in the house and you need to, you can't be like, hey, Tosh, you have to call each other and be like, hey, I'm on the 17th floor. Like, yeah. where are you? Where are you? <laughs> like, like, also, come to bedroom 5B. Like, <laughs> how do you even know what bedroom's which? Yeah, like, none of these places would be kid friendly either. <laughs> no. Like, there's all these pools <laughs> randomly in the middle of the house. Like, your baby's it's like an elevator. Fall. Yeah, it's too much. There's like a fountain in the middle. Yeah. <laughs> It's just nuts. No. It's crazy. I'm, I'm good with my home. Like, yeah. Jesus Christ. But. Okay, <laughs> Maybe a walk-in yeah. closet and then yeah, we're good. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> um, okay, let's go into some I'm sorry buts because yes. I have one that I've been meaning to talk about. Uh-oh. And I kind of ties into the bag tag policy. The but trash I, talk. Exactly. Trash <laughs> talk. And I'm not even anti, like, like I'm, you hate I'm, the environment i'm not even like saying <laughs> fuck the environment but these reusable bags like, oh boy why can't i get a plastic bag at any location now did you know what the lcbo now soon they are getting rid of their paper bags no, at the lcbo I love their paper bags. so now you have to bring your own bag if you go shopping now what? you can't even get a plastic bag when you buy clothes like you have to bring a reusable bag to the shopping mall which is a little bit like come on okay so hot take canadian tire they still have plastic bags. Go because, to Canadian Tire. Because sometimes I need plastic bags for like my trash Me cans too. or something. I like them. And I'm sorry, but I'll add yeah. on to this. Like those big cloth like tote bags. I don't need 500 of those. So th- those are going in the trash. So and they're just getting 
those take just, longer to decompose like you know what i mean yeah. like those and the, a lot of energy goes into making those versus a plastic bag and plastic yeah. bags i can you reuse, reuse them, them for things yeah, i for, can't for reuse trash. that <laughs> other than just maybe i will start putting those big ass walmart blue bags in my trash bins like honestly i have all these walmart bags you have all these food basic bags and (laughs) another thing is too if you order from instacart now yeah why don't they have a recycle instacart should implement some kind of recycle program 100 percent. when you get your groceries you can give bags back to the guy and be like hey yeah just leave it on your doorstep because I might just start doing honestly. I might just start doing that because I'm gonna put like, a sign. I don't know what to do with all these bags. I have like fifty freaking food basic bags. Yeah, I have fifty thousand Walmart bags. Like <laughs> my closets bringing- are bleeding blue right now. It's <laughs> I keep insane. bringing them to people's houses. Yeah, you bring them to my house. <laughs> and I'll like, I don't them, want this. And I'll like leave it there, and then Tasha will be like, your bag, and I'm like, no, I don't want it. <laughs> like, like, like running away. I'm just gonna be cleaning my house one day, and I'm just gonna find like food fucking basic bags, like all hidden all around that you've just like plotted all around my house. You're gonna start using it to clean off. Things. Oh my god, yeah. I mean, I'll just cut up, use it as cloths. That's not a bad idea. Make them into future baby diapers. You start selling merch. It's just <laughs> sewed up bags. Oh my god. Oh my like, god. That could be a thing. It's too good. It's freaking funny. Yeah, that's a that's a good. I'm sorry. Okay, Ivan. I'm sorry that. Uh, when I was getting my hair done at the salon a few weeks ago, I'm sorry, but why are you waiting for your girlfriend to get her hair done at the salon? Like the guy was just sitting there. He was just sitting in an empty chair waiting for her to get her hair done. At one point, he fell asleep in the chair. That's a four or five hour ordeal. That's a journey. Like why? Just come why? Pick, pick her up again. Go walk around Lansdowne. Go... Mm do anything else in the world except sit like if matt came with me to the salon like i'd be embarrassed i'd be uncomfortable that's weird and then you almost feel like you have to rush but you can't like there's a process even if they were like from out of town or something and you didn't know anyone it was a beautiful day i'm just like i'm just judging you right now and you're sleeping in someone's chair like every chair is assigned to a stylist it was just a little rude. That is no, and weird. And it weird. was really weird. Yeah, I feel like, like that's a red flag. You don't have enough things to do that's to keep yourself red busy. Flag. Absolutely no, not. No. Let's go into some social segments. Uh, our social seg because I have a few things I want to bring up. Okay, me too. Oh my god, I'm okay. excited. This okay. is such a fun episode. I love it. I'm I love it. All this shit. Um, okay. okay, so you know how air tags? Like if it they added a feature on air tags where. If another air tag is around you, you'll get a notification on yep. your phone so that people can't like stalk you with air tags. Yep. So they added that feature. Now they've implemented that. So if you have an air tag and you actually have an Android, if someone puts an air tag around you, your Android phone will now pick it up and give you a notification. Whoa. So that's a new thing because usually there's no crossover yeah. between Android and iPhone. Android and iPhones or Apple had to work together to yes. just implement that feature so that people with Androids aren't getting stalked okay. with uh, with um, air tags. So does that mean that must have happened to somebody and then like I th- they're maybe. probably like shit. We need to not we be need responsible a, for yeah, that. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah. So that's just like a little aside. That's of, like the first time they've probably ever like worked work together. together. Yeah. Wonder, yeah. So I wonder crazy. who approached who for that. <laughs> Um, Matt and I did something exciting this weekend. So I said we played games, but the games that we were playing were on Nintendo Switch. Okay, tell me about your Nintendo Switch journey. Okay, because- we've been talking about getting a Nintendo Switch for like over a year. Like Matt was the one that kind of like planted the seed. Like, oh, this would be so fun. Like so we've played date it a few nights, times. Yeah. yeah, just like date nights, even like having friends over. Like we had some friends over a few weeks ago and they brought their Nintendo Switch and we were playing games together. It was super so fun. fun. And I'm, I am I grew up playing Nintendo. Like I'm a gamer girl. Like yeah. I don't have, we don't have any consoles right now, but I grew up playing video games all the time. And we were like, you know what? Let's just wait and see if we can find a good deal one day. And it was like the rainy Saturday this weekend. And he just randomly went on Facebook Marketplace. We hadn't really like looked for a Nintendo Switch in like months. And there was this dope deal that we couldn't like say no to. It was brand new, like unsealed or like still sealed. Um, two controllers, two games. <gasps> I had to go all the way to Barhaven to get it, which kind of sucked. But <laughs> we went there, we got it, and then we just like played Zelda like for hours this weekend. It was so fun. Oh my god! And the two controllers, so now you can two add controllers. two controllers. Exactly. Or like, so you know, just need to buy two more, and then like we can have four how people. Much was, how much is that? That deal was five fifty. Okay. That's so we actually so reasonable with yeah. the, with the games too. We added up like how much individually everything would have cost, and we like saved eight. like two hundred dollars. Yeah, I was so. gonna say that's like usually like seven eight hundred bucks yeah with all this stuff it's so fun like i forgot how much fun it is to like 
get like absorbed into a video game. Oh my God. <laughs> I want to get like Mario. Kart, yeah, we got Mario, Mario Odyssey <gasps> as well. Oh, We're going to get Mario Kart, obviously, Mario yeah. Party, Super Smash Brothers. Oh, so and I feel like that'll be just a fun little thing to add on to when we're hosting that's honestly like yeah. board games are fun but this is like in the next level. yes exactly board games forever but yeah. it's nice to switch it up it's nice to switch up okay, okay that's so nice okay Super fun. fun um another thing is that they the new update we got new emojis <gasps> yes there's no pickle emoji mm, that's not sad. Pickle. but Can- there's like this cute blue heart there's a pink heart do that one face that's like tripping out it makes me dizzy when i look at it does it hurt your eyes yeah it does I okay don't like it. i don't like it i don't like it either. no it's it's a lot i don't like that one what um blue heart is, is cute there's like a gray heart there's a i wish it was a baby pink big heart they should have made that yeah wait like, is there not no there's just there's just really? like a fuchsia heart like there isn't fuchsia. like a baby pink one like a cute wait baby pink. isn't this a baby what do you mean like that one or you mean lighter yeah lighter than oh. that yeah like a baby pink true that would have been cute but honestly yeah yeah, there wasn't any emoji that i'm like oh i love this like it was kind of all just like meh yeah i mean i am using the blue heart a lot but you know our friend ria made a good point because like obviously like we love pickles we like we're like wanting to do like hot girls love pickles kind of merch but it's really hard to make a pickle look cute like (laughs) it looks like like a bumpy like green like dick. dick like it's it's really not cute but i still think if they're doing an eggplant emoji like Make me a fucking cucumber. Not cucumber. <laughs> you already did that. Make me a pickle. <laughs> or it could be cute. It could be in a jar and it could be one in a jar maybe. Yeah. And just add a face to it and then it'll be cute. Something like that. <laughs> We're still waiting. We're still waiting on it. Um, but speaking of Apple, so there's this whole ordeal about... So the European Union added a um, law. They passed a law that said by 2024, all smartphones, all smartphones sold have to be using USB-C chargers. And they did this for an environmental reason so that they're standardizing chargers because there's a lot of like electronic waste right now with these like chargers changing. And like Apple is really bad for that because they're the only ones who have a different charger from everyone else. Like an Android charger, you use this, that Android charger to then use to plug into other things. Things. like yep. it's standardized across the board apple is like the only one that has their own specific charger yeah. so it was kind of directed at apple yeah. with that law so then we're kind of <laughs> waiting for apple to say oh we're gonna release a USB-C phone apple iphone in by 2024 and there was a like wall street journal like gathering where there was a lot of execs from apple there and they did an interview with one of them and they brought this up and the guy said along the lines of we will comply like that was his words okay he didn't say we were going to implement a USB-C like charger he just said we will comply and there was this deep dive video that we were watching the other day by this guy um Marquis Bronley he's like a really good YouTuber that does all this stuff oh I know him yeah Yeah, Matt loves him he's really always makes like these cool videos so he was talking about how he had this whole theory of being like they're not going to come out with a USB-C charger what they're going to do now is just remove the port completely and have wireless charging for iPhones and it only be wireless because they're just like they're eliminating that that waste whole way thing but then it's also like what about but apple carplay there's so many things wait that, yeah would it just be bluetooth i guess i guess but what if your, your car doesn't have like what if it was apple carplay's you yeah. know what i mean i have a lot of questions about that but anyway i thought it was an interesting thing to be like that's crazy that by 2024 yeah. apple's either going to add a USB-C charger or they're going to remove it completely and have a wireless well, then everyone's going to have to buy that charger piece like we have one excuse me item in our house it's like a lamp slash one of those chargers okay. where if you put your phone on it, it will just charge. Yeah. But the chargers for that, like at least for that thing that we have is really slow. It's slow and yeah. like it's going to be pricey. And now every time you go to someone's house, like if you have an, a newer iPhone. How are you going to charge your phone? And they don't have that magnetic thing or whatever to charge it. It's just another thing. Why does thing. Apple have to be so different all they the time? They always have to be so different. Like just, 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 just do, do it. the USB, whatever. See, why don't you just do it? Or they even when they changed it like to to this one instead of the lightning one yeah the other one, one. Yeah. yeah anyway i just thought you know like uh, yeah by 2024 so by then That's it'll not be that iPhone far away 16. we're halfway through the year basically seriously I don't know what. Okay, well, I want to follow that because that's interesting. Yeah, so you heard it here first. If you have, oh. our, you're either gonna have a USB-C charged iPhone or wireless. We don't know. They might remove the port. 
how do you recycle those chargers? You're supposed to like put them like there's Bring like them somewhere waste. special. Yeah, there's like a biohazard no one, waste. I don't do that. I just we do. We oh. actually have like a bucket. <laughs> Fires is like don't come bucket. for me. <laughs> I'm gonna bring it to you now. I'm bring gonna it. bring it to you. We have like a <laughs> bucket downstairs, and we literally write biohazard waste, and you just throw like batteries and like chargers and things. Oh wow! And there's a place that you can. It's actually by Conroy. There's like a oh, spot. Oh, that's definitely <laughs> close to where I live. <laughs> Awkward. <laughs> it's okay. You can just put it aside, and then we go like once a year to the place or even once every two years we don't have that much like batteries yeah. and stuff like true we should probably do that too yeah. though so. um okay one cool thing that i learned as well so uh, obviously our st- snap streak is elite we're at like s- almost like 600 days or whatever um matt and i lost our snap streak recently but it gave me the option to restore it i saw that but and i didn't I, know what that was what is that so you I, can actually restore it so we literally lost our streak and it was like hey do you want to restore restore your streak you get one chance to do this like press here if you want to restore it by sending them a snap it was him that ruined our streak by the way it wasn't me <laughs> um and we were able to restore our snap streak so okay. i was like oh that's kind of cool but i'm also like that's kind of lame rid of the, get a gets rid of the streak and how long i wonder like if you miss snapping them for like three days, will that restore thing just go away? Is it maybe like a 24 hour? I like think it's buffer? a 24 hour thing. Yeah. And also though, I've lost snap streaks that weren't really high where that didn't happen. But I think because Matt and I also had, we were like in the hundreds as well at this point, okay. I think that it was like, Ooh, you probably want to keep this streak. <laughs> and I was like, I really do. Oh, so man. yeah, you, everybody gets one chance. But I wonder if that's like my, like the only one that I get or like, if we were to lose our streak, would we be able to do that? Or would I not be able to? Because I already like redeemed it once kind of oh, thing. Oh, you know I what see I mean? what you're saying. Yeah. But maybe you would be able to redeem it. Or like, it? is it once per, uh, like, streak, if I like use with, mine once yeah. we'll, and then we lose it again, will I get an option again? I don't know. I don't know. But we also, can't. you need to snap me today, by the way, speaking Oh my God. <laughs> I'm going to do it right now, guys, because I will forget. Okay, well, here we go. Um, we can't, it's it's too far gone now like our 579 days yeah that's a lot of that's days. a lot of days that's Damn. a lot of snaps Damn. that's crazy <laughs> um okay that's fun okay um i'm trying to see maybe we'll go into some random shit now because we just have yeah so much stuff okay i have a question for you does okay. matt have a skincare routine <sighs> like i've tried to get him things to use and but honestly no not really okay. i mean he still has great skin which is annoying but like that's not gonna last forever baby you gotta <laughs> kind of start doing some stuff now are you gonna wake up one day and you're gonna be like whoa yeah. what's going on yeah okay because the reason i ask is because um a few months ago farzad was just like Hey, because I'd always ask him, I'm like, hey, put this on your face, put this on your face. And he's like, hyaluronic, what acid? I'm not putting acid on my face. Like, he's just crazy. And he's like, I'm not putting all this stuff on my face. Then he was like watching me one day and he's like, okay, I'll have a bit. And then it was like, okay, you can put this on. And then now this guy has a, he's, he's in there before I am. No Has his little, way. little headband thing that I got <gasps> That's him. That's adorable. He puts it on and he's putting on all the stuff. He knows the, he knows the routine. Oh, wow. And he's like doing Morning and night? No, he just does it at night. He's a nighttime. He's a night. Okay. Yeah. Morning, we can work on that. But nighttime, he does it every night. And I'm proud of him. I, and his skin looks good. What is he looks, using? He's using, okay, he doesn't use all my stuff, but he's like washing his face. He used to never wash his face because he's know. like, I don't have anything on my face. But I'm like, you. Dude, the world is dirty it's around you. Gross. It's like, literally like think you just how you have to wash your hands. And I'm like, think about you not washing your face and then you're putting that on, on your pillow. Your pillow, and your it's pillow like, can get disgusting. So gross. Also, guys, wash your pillowcase like, like all often. the time. Like, yeah. I wash mine at least once a week. I like, I just change times, mine so. out. Like I have multiple pillows. Yeah. Cases. like every couple of days i'm like well, this, we're honestly this. yeah that's so smart i yeah. need to get more yeah because that's one of the things is your pillowcase can give you so much acne if you're not washing it often yeah um but yeah so he's been on so this he's using your stuff you gotta he's get using him my stuff his own stuff so then my stuff's running out faster so yeah. now i'm like he's like well why are you adding so much stuff for i'm like because you're using all my stuff like yeah matt would like <laughs> matt likes to use my stuff too like if i'm using he'd be like hey well like you put it on you put it on for me and i'm like one, this is expensive. And two, like, <laughs> do it yourself. Like, wash your own face. It's hard, too, when they have a little bit of stubble and you're, like, trying to get yeah. in between. <laughs> it's not really going on his face. It's, like, going just on his, like, hair. That's hilarious. No, shout so, out to Farzi. Yeah. Skincare is important, guys. It is. It is. Um, I did a lot of gardening this weekend. And it was just a reminder, like, how good it is for your soul. Gardening is so freaking good. I Yeah. There, there were other, the other day, I was, like, gardening and I usually I have like my headphones in or I have something going on while yeah. I'm gardening. But the other day I just didn't have my headphones. I had nothing. 
and it was just nice to just be at peace and mm-hmm. not be talking to anyone, yep. not listening to anything, just be outside with my dog gardening. Yeah. Dude, so speaking nice. of that, the last time I went for a run before my whole knee thing happened, I ran without music and it was actually really nice. It was a short run. It was like two or three K, but it was nice. I was in the morning, so it was just like really okay. calm and quiet and I'd never really done that before. So yeah, sometimes not listening to music is nice. Okay, I that brings up a funny point. So I was listening to this podcast with Peter Atea. He's I don't know if you know who that is. He's like so. he's a physician that like I wrote some notes about him that I was gonna talk about, but he is a physician that like studies longevity, so how to live longer. Yeah. His whole like thing is about living Icky longer. Guy. Yeah, <laughs> he's very and he's like if you saw him, you'd be like, Wow, he's he looks so good for his age. Okay. I think he's like 50 and he looks really really good anyway he does this thing called rucking i don't know if you've ever heard of that no so it's literally you put weights or heavy things in a backpack oh and God. you go on a really long walk with like heavy weights in a backpack and he just says it's like the best thing that you can do because it like trains your body so he says the biggest thing when you're older is like falling so like yep. falling you're done and usually it's like coming down from a curb or like not being able to catch yourself and so apparently this thing called rucking like prepares you for like both going uphill and downhill and he just like talks about all the benefits about rucking and he says that he doesn't bring his phone and he just like goes out for an hour a day doing this rucking thing and that just reminded me of that dude matt like for a bit was he had like a weighted vest and when he would go for runs he would put the weighted vest on so crazy I like, can't even run normally. Like, let alone. you know what we could do? Yeah. We could fill up our food basic and Walmart bags <laughs> and then go for a fucking walk. <laughs> Honestly, if I just put all my food basic bags in the bag, that would put be the enough weight. In the bag. <laughs> that would be enough weight. We can go rocking. We're rocking. We're rocking with that. <laughs> oh, oh my God. My that's God. hilarious. Kate, did you write cottage cheese? Yeah, or did I, I? Did. I'm, okay. like, I'm like, so I hope that, that wasn't me because I have no idea why I wrote cottage cheese. Oh my God. Cheese. Okay. So I, I don't know if this is just my algorithm but i've been getting so i get a lot of food tiktok yeah but cottage cheese is like trending on tiktok and because it's like super high in protein and people are like using it in like pastas and sauces and cheesy things that you would like make dips with and usually people don't like it because of the texture Mm -hmm. but you can whip it and make like whipped cottage cheese and it's amazing you made it literally the other day i was like making fettuccine but instead of like the really bad for you fettuccine sauce that you can buy like literally used cottage cheese i whipped it with like some pesto (gasps) and it's it was so good and it's high in protein like the little container has like 15 grams of protein in it or something so it's so high in protein i remember when stark was a puppy and he would get like kind of sick and we'd have to put him on like a special diet they would always say like put cottage cheese it's still like high in protein and it's good for their tummies i actually don't mind cottage cheese at all but yeah i do like the texture can be a little off-putting yeah but it is yummy like i've made lasagna before with cottage cheese Ooh, instead of like ricotta instead of ricotta i like ricotta better but it's nice to switch it up. It's sw- nice to switch it up. Yeah, yeah, it is really good for you. And you can make like dips with it. Like, yes. Yeah. So anyway, try it out. Like, see what you think. <laughs> Speaking of cheese, I added to our notes too. Because yeah. uh, you guys know I love Kraft Dinner, but we love PC. We don't love the Kraft no. Dinner brand. But adding cheese to your Kraft Dinner just really elevates it. Like we have, we buy this um, smoked cheddar from Costco. I know exactly which one you're talking about. The bald, the bald or some. Yeah, yeah, it's like yeah. the big one. Yeah. It's like has black on black. it. Yes. And it's like orangey cheese. Bro, putting that in your Kraft Dinner with a little hot sauce. Oh, That's a gourmet meal. It's so good. That is one of the best shit you'll ever have in your life. Oh my God. Some yeah. cracked pepper and yeah. some like... Do you put ketchup on your cotton? Never. That's <laughs> bombastic side eye bullshit. <laughs> That's a red flag. Oh, do you? <laughs> Ew. <laughs> it's so funny because I'm not a ketchup gal. I catch up like... You're a hot sauce fries. girly. I love hot sauce. I'll put hot sauce too. Hot sauce hot and sauce. ketchup. Really good. Mm, not too ketchup. much. Okay. Spicy Do you put ketchup? vinegar on your french fries? No. Okay. I'm not that crazy. Offensive. It's criminal <laughs> offensive. Bombastic side No, eye. ketchup, no. But you know what I did recently too, actually? Yeah. When we had some friends over and we were playing Switch, it was our friends. So actually, this is a cool story. So our friends, Tori and Kevin, literally bought a van, like a big ass van, and turned it into like 
a house so okay. like they literally are living out of their van and they're gonna be like driving around canada it has like everything like they have their bed they have like a shower a toilet and they did it all themselves they need to start a youtube channel like yeah honestly. right love they, that have, they have a tiktok wow okay. and they have an instagram i'll send it to you anyway so they they left last weekend and they literally came and slept over quote unquote at our house meaning they parked like on our driveway and like slept on our driveway in their van but anyway we had craft dinner and we put hot dogs in our craft dinner so good i hadn't done that in so long cut up hot dogs yeah, yeah. but no ketchup that's your <laughs> no. flag okay speaking of red flag i don't know how we didn't talk about this but red flag at the airport wearing jeans carlo and if you're listening to this we're talking about you carlo I, i've been telling him when to talk about this he wore jeans to the airport last time we were all together at the airport and everyone shows up in their like sweats their comfy clothes and we're like what are he wore you jeans doing? both ways he both? wore jeans. i know i he think he did it on the way back but on the way back he was also he wearing probably jeans. did that to spite us <laughs> he's like this, he don't, does, carlo do you own sweatpants <laughs> i mean he looked comfy and if that's your cozy go for it but like that's a red flag no <laughs> <laughs> I don't like, I, I can't wear jeans on any occasion that I don't need to. No. Like, no, no. like imagine sitting for like six hours on the, like, like it's you, I would have to unbutton them. I There's no to. way I'd be sitting in jeans for six hours without unbuttoning them. Yeah. I wonder how it is wearing jeans as a guy. Cause as a girl, it's just like, they're tight. Obviously. I feel like guys, jeans these days are tighter, tighter. than they used to be too you know yeah. so i don't even think there's that much more wiggle room and they have like way more going on than we do so <laughs> i don't know about that what's going on carlo what's, what's why are you wearing jeans at the airport it's okay but he has really good style he always looks good so he we does can't even hate. yeah we can't even hate you can't um cannot. okay another thing i actually speaking of mexico wanted to talk about and i don't know if i already talked about this so please correct me if i have okay so we've talked about like core memories and like yeah. sometimes things will happen to you in your life and you're like, damn, this is you in the moment. You're like, this is a core memory. Yeah. Or maybe you'll think about it later, later and be like, that was a core memory. Yeah. It's crazy to think though, that your core memories are, you could experience something with someone mm -hmm. and that could be a core memory for you, but it doesn't necessarily need to be a core memory from yeah. for them. And everyone has different core memories. And I just thought that was so interesting. And I don't know if I've already brought this up. Or no, not. I don't okay. think you have. And that is okay. super interesting because I feel like that will happen to me sometimes where like someone will bring up something and they'll be like, oh my God, do you remember this? And in my memory, like I completely forgot about that, but it was still such like a sick core memory like for them obviously and i'm like oh my god like how did i not remember, remember that like that. that was really sick like yeah thank you for bringing that up it's yeah, like interesting you, what your brain chooses to remember and store and what it doesn't exactly or like you'll experience something with someone or the first time you meet you met someone and they became your friend or something yeah you might have like remembered a specific interaction and then the other person might have been like i don't i don't remember that or i remember a different time that maybe i remember that was the first time we met but it yeah, might not necessarily true. been like the first time i don't know it's just crazy to that me that is interesting crazy crazy core memories dude it's also crazy. weird how you have like some there's quite a bit of friendships that i have and like some like close friends where i don't even remember like how we met and how we got so close but somewhere along the way like some people became my really good friends and i'm like wait when did we like oh, first yes. like get together and like start to become like such good friends like, i i think about that frequently yeah where or sometimes you like people ask you, how do you know this person? And I never know how to answer that sometimes because I'm like, wait, how do I know this person? Yeah, you know? it's, it's cause there's so much like entanglement too. I feel like in our friend group, like with like our boyfriends or like our partners and like university and Greek life and this and that. It's like, uh, Ottawa is so small. It's and like, then, do you have 30 minutes for me to unpack yeah. my friendship with this person? And if you don't, then we met in university. Yeah, honestly, <laughs> it's like, there's a timeline to this. <laughs> no, that is really yeah, interesting. So cool. Okay, I wanted to ask you, um, now that it's summer and it's ice cream season, when you go to Dairy Queen, what is your order? Ooh, okay. I have a few different ones. So obviously I always get a blizzard. Yeah. Do you get a blizzard? Obviously, okay. yes. Sometimes I might like feel adventurous and get like a dipped cone, like okay. the, the chocolate yeah. dipped cone, or I'll get a banana split. That's like crazy if I'm like feeling mm, a little okay. crazy. Yeah, but put usually ketchup on it's it or... <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. We'll catch up. We'll catch up on that. Catch a banana split. <laughs> um, I usually will get. I really like the Kit Kat Blizzard. Wait. Or Kit Kat blizzard. Yeah, they have a Kit Kat one. Kit Kat ones? Yeah, they have. A okay, Kit well, I'm so niched into what I order. I didn't even Wait, know that. Okay, and then they also have this one. It's really good. It's like a cheesecake one. It's like strawberry cheesecake. <laughs> <laughs> Why is my order so weird? I'm like, <laughs> I think that's the worst one. No, it's so good. I and remember then Oreo. I got 
Those are the three. Okay. I'll like switch. It really just depends. Like if I'm feeling like a little tangy, I'll get the cheesecake one. If I really want sweet. Yeah. Like I just, I I have a core memory of (laughs) getting a cheesecake blizzard. I used to be adventurous with my blizzards and try like different ones, but I distinctly remember getting the cheesecake one, strawberry cheesecake one and being like, this tastes so like artificial and like (laughs) disgusting to me. I'm like, I'm never branching out again. I'm always going to get either cookie dough or brownie or. Oh yes. Cookie dough is actually one of my faves too. So good. And if I'm feeling really saucy, I'll get them both together. Ooh. But yeah, I don't think I've had, wait, the brownie. I don't know if I've ever had that one. Oh my God. It's so good. Okay, I need to get that next time. Good. Cookie dough. Yes, that's a classic. I get that all the time too. Get cookie dough with brownie. And sometimes you can get the ones that have like the freaking like fudge in the middle too. (sighs) I forget. Those are like the extreme blizzards. I forget what they're called, but those are really good too. (sighs) Yum. Yeah. There was a a DQ like right by our house, like a standalone DQ, like a little cute one. Yeah. But it would only open up in the summer. And yeah, I would always go with my family and we would. My my parents are immigrants. We'd always get the banana splits. I'm not gonna lie. We'd always be like, I've never ordered a banana split in my entire life. If there's something about bananas and ice cream that just goes so well together. I don't even know if I've so had one. I think I just don't. So actually, like I didn't like bananas for a long, long time in my life. Like I was like repulsed by them and I hated them, but I knew they were really good for me. So like once a year, this is like in high school, when I was a teenager, I would try a banana like once a year to see if I would like it, and I would eat a banana and be like, mm, nope, don't like it yet. And like even to this day, like it has to be like almost like like still like really hard. Like okay. if it's a little bit mushy, like I'm not eating it. Yeah. Can't put banana in my smoothie because it's too overpowering. But I love banana muffins. What about banana pancakes? Those are so good. Um, Mash up a banana in your yeah, pancakes. Yeah, I used to do that with like to make protein pancakes. I would okay. use a banana. So yeah, those are good too. I don't know. Sometimes I just can't <laughs> fuck with it. And a banana split. Okay, that's actually funny because I was talking to someone recently. Like is there something that a lot of people have eaten that you have like never had because I was talking to Eduardo because he's never had like a baconator he's never eaten craft dinner he's never had a big mac and I'm like he's never wow I'm like mac. these are my like my main meals like <laughs> this is so crazy I feel like so Sometimes bad I about get them together <laughs> <laughs> just mix it all up um and then he's like well what's something that like maybe you've eat you haven't eaten that everyone else has and I couldn't think of anything and now I'm thinking banana split so is there something that I don't Other people know. have probably eaten. That's really common that you never eat. Honestly, cottage eaten. cheese I had not had really. Okay, I had, until this time that I bought until it. Until your TikTok, like until, made you literally, I was like, "What it? is this substance?" And I go, "I'm like, I didn't even yeah. know what it was supposed to." It's like, not smell a peel. Like. It doesn't look good. So I was like, "It smells kind of like Greek yogurt in a way." Yeah, but then I'm like, "It's cheese," so I just had no idea what to expect. Uh, I don't know if I've had. Think about it. Yeah, I'm gonna come get back to you because yeah. I it literally just took me like three weeks to process that. Okay. I'm like I've never had a banana split, and I feel like <laughs> most people have. Okay, but next time we're gonna buy a banana split and we'll have a little tasting. Yeah, and we'll just try it out. You know what's funny though in Iran, like the bananas are a very rare thing because oh, like they can't well, they, come, oh, they they don't grow there yeah. because you need like a lot of water and stuff. Anyway, so growing up, I remember going back home to Iran to visit my family, and like there would be people like selling bananas like in little carts. And they would be like, oh my God, there's a banana cart. Like people would go wow. crazy for bananas. So it's just like bananas. Core are, memory. Core memory. That's core memory. so crazy. Yeah. So it's like really like nostalgic. Yeah. For you to have nostalgic. Bananas. Yeah. Oh, okay. Crazy. You eat your banana split, <laughs> but ditch the strawberry <laughs> fucking cheesecake thing. Cause that's weird. <laughs> okay. Should oh we do God. some health and wellness? Cause I feel like yes. we have so much in yes. here. Okay. We already talked about rocking. Yes. Um, okay. I wanted to talk to you about something um, that I read somewhere. It's called called a conversational narcissist. So it was a a term that was coined by Charles Derber. And essentially it's about anyone who turns every conversation back to themselves. So you could be venting about something that's annoying you or like talking about your job. And instead of just listening to you and providing like, oh, I'm sorry to hear that and blah, blah. They almost have to then turn the whole conversation and be like, well, you know what's frustrating about my job? And like they then talk about them. Yeah. And so, yeah, there's like... uh, that I thought that was a. I could think of a few different examples and a few different people that have. Like, yeah, absolutely. Done I think everyone in the probably past. Can, for sure. Um, but I think we just have to like be aware of it sometimes, and you could be doing it and not even be aware of it. I've definitely done it in my past. Yeah. So I think now moving forward, I'm just gonna be a little bit more cautious of like if someone's talking about their situation. And what's bothering them. Yeah. Instead of trying to make it about me, just listen. Sometimes For you just sure. have to listen. Literally. And I think sometimes too, it, it's like, it's okay to be like, so let's say you just vented to me about something like really personal, like something happened, da da da. Like, 
I'm learning too. And I've learned this from one of my good friends. It's like, okay, like, what do you need from me right now? Do you do like, do you just want to vent? Do you want me to listen? Do you want me to like give you advice? Like, like tell me like how I can help you now. Cause like yep. you, can, you don't know like what someone wants really, unless you ask them. And it could be sometimes there could be a situation where they might need someone to say I've gone through a similar situation yeah and, sometimes and you want that okay. comfort for and sure and that's okay to be like you're not alone in this 100%. but I think you just have to play it by ear and not every conversation needs to be about you yeah, yeah. a thousand percent and sometimes too like if I just want to vent like I'll let you know first I'll be like I'm just gonna vent for five minutes and then I'll blah, 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 get it all out and then that way you know like she's just venting like I'm not gonna make this about me I'm not gonna like try and solve your problem this bitch just needs to vent for five minutes and that's what friends are freaking for honestly that is and sometimes after you vent you're like okay I'm not even that mad anymore or literally it's not that big of a deal like one of my good friends like we don't live in the same city and when we're texting each other we'll just be like I need to vent right now I don't even need you to respond or to this like but I'm just gonna vent and we just like send each other like texts if we're just like venting via yeah. text even too but you brought up a good point too about sometimes like if you want to vent to someone instead of just like doing it be like hey is this a good time 100% because then yeah because sometimes you don't like you could have had the worst day ever at yep. work and I need to vent to you I'm not gonna unload on you all of a sudden like you could check no. your phone and be like oh my god I don't you have ready the capacity to, that. to deal with this capacity, right now capacity that's such a good word I literally learned that from one of my good friends Leva she talked teaches me so many lessons yeah. she literally like told me like if you need to like unload on someone just ask them like hey do you have the capacity right now like i'm going through something i just want to like talk to you about it or like hey like can we talk about this this certain situation like is rubbing me the wrong way and i want to talk to you about it and then maybe they'll be like yeah absolutely i'm free right now i'll be like you know what i'm actually in the middle of a fucking crisis my fire myself. my house is burning down yeah. right now my dog is throwing up like I'm wearing jeans at the airport. Like, I can't talk right now. <laughs> I'm eating a banana split with ketchup and I don't know what to do. <laughs> so, yeah, I yeah. totally agree with everything that you just said. Yeah. I love that. I love that. We just have to. I love this podcast. And if you're listening, <sighs> we learn so much. And, yeah. and I we're love just it. evolving. We're just evolving. Love it. love it. And that's a fucking wrap, guys. Holy shit. Well, There's so much more to talk about. We that. have so many more notes, but we're, we're going to sit in the same space. So. Okay, so... Go check out our TikTok because it's oh going my viral. God. Yeah, trash talk. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Next okay. time it's going to be bag talk, reusable bag talk. People are going to be coming for us. Oh okay, God, okay, we love you guys. Okay, bye. bye.